Hello, I'm Shelley Duvall. Welcome to Fairy Tale Theater. Tonight's tale is about a young dreamer named Jack, whose fertile mind sprouts ideas like a garden sprouts weeds. But one idea in particular grew to enormous proportions and reaped giant rewards. Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, there was a poor widow who lived in a little cottage with her only son, Jack. As time went on, they grew poorer and poorer until there was practically nothing left to eat. It was hard times. There was no wood for the fire. and very uncomfortable furniture. And you know why? Although Jack was a very kind-hearted and affectionate lad, he wasn't much help around the house. He spent most of his time either daydreaming or trying to find solutions to difficult problems. Jack, I wish you would use that mind of yours for more practical things like growing food. But this is practical, Mother. You see, what I intend to do is rig a series of strings to the scarecrow, and then I'll hide behind the house here, with the ends of the strings. When the crows approach, I'll simply pull the strings, and the scarecrow's arms and heads and legs will move and turn and scare all the crows away. Huh? Jack, we haven't had a crow around here in months. Mm. This supper sure smells good. Just leftovers. You know, Mother, many foods take on added flavor when they're recooked. I don't think so, Jack. Oh, yes. I'm quite sure of it. Giving it plenty of thought. Uh, I don't know what we are going to do. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong is our life. Look at us sitting here eating stringy leftover celery. The roof leaks, the seeds won't sprout in my garden, and the cow has been dry for three days now. Spots dry? Yes. Oh, why didn't you say something? I'll just wake up tomorrow and give it some thought. Old Spot will be giving milk before you can say utter delight. <sighs> it's no <laughs> use, Jack. We have hit bottom. Mother, you haven't hit bottom. You're just not exactly on the top. <laughs> but you've got me. Oh, things were so much different when your father was alive. He was the sweetest and the kindest and the most gentle man that ever lived on the face of the earth. And then... And then... Uh, uh, what, Mother? Uh, Will you always stop when you get to this part? I just can't remember. It was all so horrible. <laughs> What was so horrible? I mean, did he get hit in the head by a donkey? Stabbed in a tavern brawl? What? What was so horrible? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jack. He was very special, though, wasn't he, Mother? Yes. Your father was a very noble man. Noble? Yes. He must have been. Because I feel noble, too. Even my blood feels noble. I, I wish there were mean dragons around here because I'd find them and I'd slay them and I'd be known throughout the land as Jack the Dragon Slayer. Mother, do you mind if I ask one more question about Father? 
Never mind. It was just a thought. <laughs> Mother! Mother! Yes? Look at me. I'm doing something constructive. See? Stool, pal, I'm uh, ready to milk. I certainly hope so, Jack. Because if she doesn't give any milk today, you're going to have to sell her. No problem. Mmm. <laughs> mm. mm. 